Is it the right time to buy or sell the QQQ ETF? In this video, we will delve deep into the QQQ ETF. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, November 16, 2023. Now, we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To stay updated on our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. On November 2, 2023, our system ranked QQQ as a hold slash accumulate with a score of 0.00. Now let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, QQQ has exceeded our expectations with a gain of 6.19% since we first recommended buying it 11 days ago. This means that on average, QQQ has been delivering a daily return of 0.56% since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system foresees high volatility and risk for the next trading day. Given the recent developments, we are unable to predict whether the stock will go up or down. The ETF has broken the horizontal trend upwards. Breaks like this are often followed by swift and strong movements. In this case, any correction down to the break line at approximately $377.01 is seen as a second chance to potentially take advantage of a runner. However, it is important to note that volume should confirm the price movement, as false breaks could occur and the ETF may return to the horizontal trend. According to the rectangle formation theory, the ETF is predicted to reach $410.67 within the next three months. Looking at the current three-month trend, there is a potential minus 0.345% change expected. The possible return ranges from minus 11.34% to minus 2.65%. In terms of the 12-month trend, a significant change of 37.76% is projected. The potential return is estimated to be between 25.16% and 52.01%. This indicates a price range of $483.06 to $586.70 after a year. Our latest update for the QQQ ETF reveals that its price ended at $385.95 on Thursday, marking a gain of 0.0856%. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, November 16, 2023, the QQQ ETF experienced a gain of 0.0856%. It started the day at $385.62 and closed at $385.95. This marks the third consecutive day of gains for the ETF. It will be interesting to observe whether this upward trend will continue or if there will be a temporary pause in the coming days. Throughout the trading day, the ETF's price fluctuated between a low of $383.56 and a high of $386.19, representing a fluctuation of 0.686%. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in 8 instances, resulting in a cumulative increase of 6.19% over the past 2 weeks. On the last trading day, the volume of shares traded decreased by 7 million, with a total of 44 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $16.85 billion. It is worth noting that a decrease in volume alongside rising prices can indicate divergence and may serve as an early warning for potential changes in the next few days. Over the course of the past 52 weeks, the highest price recorded for the ETF was $387.98, while the lowest price was $259.73. At present, the price is 0.52% or $2.03 below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 5.57% or $22.76 below the all-time high, which was reached on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $408.71. In this video, we will discuss the signals identified for QQQ, the popular ETF. The QQQ ETF is showing positive signs as it holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages. This indicates a favorable forecast for the stock. Additionally, 
there is a general by signal observed from the relation between these two signals, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. On market corrections, we can expect some support from the lines at $379.36 and $364.41. However, if the stock breaks below any of these levels, it will issue sell signals. A buy signal was recently issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, October 26, 2023. Since then, the stock has risen by 12.31%. Based on this signal, further rise is expected until a new top pivot is found. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. It's worth noting that despite gaining prices, volume fell during the last trading day. This creates a divergence between volume and price, possibly serving as an early warning. Therefore, it is advisable to closely monitor the QQQ ETF. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator shows a buy signal. Pivots indicate a buy signal 16 days ago. Bollinger signals a buy signal 2 days ago. The short term moving average indicates a buy signal 14 days ago. The long term moving average shows a buy signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 9 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we can observe the following signals. The short moving average indicates a buy signal 12 days ago. The long term moving average shows a buy signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 31 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for QQQ. When it comes to support levels, we can see that the ETF has some key levels just below today's price. These levels are at $364.70 and $359.97, which have accumulated volume. It's important to note that when an ETF is testing a support level, there is a natural risk involved. If the support level is broken, the ETF may then fall to the next support level. In this case, if $364.70 is broken, the next support levels can be found at $359.97 and $343.66. In terms of risk, this ETF has average movements during the day in good trading volume, giving it a medium risk profile. Yesterday, the ETF moved $2.63 between its high and low, which is equivalent to 0.686%. Looking at the past week, the ETF has had an average daily volatility of 1.03%. Before we discuss the good trading levels for QQQ, let's start by exploring some essential fundamental data. One important metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A lower P-E ratio could indicate a lower expectation for the company's future performance or suggest that the stock is undervalued, presenting a potential opportunity for investors. Let's take a look at some potential day trading levels for QQQ. Currently, there isn't any significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which suggests that the stock has the potential to move upward quickly if the right conditions are met. If you're considering entering a position, it would be wise to monitor the volume and use it as a signal for when to exit. On the downside, QQQ has its first support level at $364.70. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point, as there is potential for a rebound. Our recommended stop loss for this ETF is set at $372.71, which represents a decrease of 3.43%. This ETF exhibits medium daily movements, indicating a moderate level of risk. Additionally, the RSI 14 is at 92, which significantly increases the risk. Moreover, a buy signal was identified from a pivot bottom that occurred 15 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good investment? While QQQ shows some positive signals, we believe it is not yet a strong buy candidate. At its current level, it is more suitable as a hold candidate or for accumulation, allowing for further development. 
Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, November 17th, we anticipate QQQ to open with a decrease of dash dollar 0.717 and begin trading at $385.23. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions to buy or sell securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be your sole basis for investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to our analysis of the current stock market. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please feel free to comment below and share your opinions. What are your predictions for the ETF? We appreciate your support, so remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Our team at Stock Invest wishes you successful trading and a wonderful day ahead.